Hello, people. I hope y'all doing good today out there. If this is your first time viewing my channel, please hit subscribe. If you feel my vibe. So let's get into it. Who this reading is today, Spirit? Who is this for? Oh, well, it's for a Leo. Did you go, Leo? What's Leo need to know today, Spirit? What's Leo need to know? Leo needs to know, oh, you're on your way to the land of milk and honey. Look there, looky there. <coughs> Maybe somebody sees you as having a, just a lot of things in your life at the moment and they just want to come and join with you. They think that you'll have a successful life. You know, what else, Spirit? 31 could be of importance. It's telling you it's time to go towards what you feel is uh, going to be milk and honey for you. That's what it's saying, Leo. So, yeah, better get moving to it, big boy or girl, because this is going to be your new life. See there? Somebody wants to have a new life with you. Number 45 and 39 also. What's Leo need to know? Leo wants to know why. You're questioning why a lot right now. Number 31. Why do I need to go towards this spirituality? Or why do I need to go towards religious? Why does everything seem to happen to me? Why can't I seem to get things right in my life? You're just asking why. You're asking, why can't I have this new life? It's the Spirit's telling you, go towards it. To go towards it. Now, shit, man. Spirit's telling you. Oh, and then we got Treasure Island right here. You got a treasure deep down inside of you, Leo. See? See that turtle swimming? The, the treasure's inside of you. That's what Spirit's want you to know, okay? Or maybe you're actually going to Treasure Island, that theme park. <laughs> maybe. Truth be told, number 14, Leo, number 14. So, maybe, maybe you're needing to speak your truth to this person. And you need to do it soon, yeah, because we got serendipity. This is a magical it's just a lot of magicalness going on around you at the moment. And you feel just fun and serendipitous at the moment. Well, spirit. Oh, wow. There's a higher power calling you to do this, Leo. That's what it is. And we all have a higher purpose and a, our higher self that you need to listen to. You got a higher power on your life. That's what it means. Why? Because spirit said. That's why. Oh, and then we got. You can see between worlds. Okay, that's what it is. You can see between uh, the spiritual and the the physical realm. The higher power gave you this, Leo, at birth. The higher power give it to you. Okay. Oh, thank you, spirit. Spirit said, you got some, you're, you're going to be exchanging gifts with someone out there. Number 27. So, somebody might be going to give you some treasure. Maybe you're a treasure hunter. I don't know. And you're getting ready to exchange gifts with someone. Hang on, let me get this deck. What's Leo need to know about milk and honey, spirit? What milk and honey more to say? Milk and honey, milk and honey, milk and honey, spirit. Oh, you gotta, you're gonna have to choose your path. This is the direction guardian coming out to you. And on this card here, we got Aquarius. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and supposed to be Scorpio. So that's for you, Leo. You got a direction to choose. 
And you gotta choose which way feels milk and honey to you. And then time to go says, Druid, you need to hold this space. Hold this space and time of what you're wanting to go towards, it said. Because it's telling you it's time to go towards it. So get out of your damn space and go towards it. And New Life said, you need to go into hermit mode and retreat and recharge. That's what you've been doing in your new life. You had to rest and retreat. Why? Because Medicine Guardian said, you got to be open to healing information. That's why. You, you got to ask Spirit to bring it to you and be faithful and fervently pray about it. Now I'm telling you about Treasure Island. What's Leo needs to know? Leo, you need to know you're a white witch and be the light. Be the light around for all to see. Oh, wow. Look you there. Maybe you got owls that come visit you like me. Because you're a wisdom keeper, okay? And that's where your treasure lies, in your wisdom. Did you understand? And truth be told, said, in the spring, you're going to see your seeds grow. So maybe next spring coming, you're going to see your seeds grow. Or you might already started seeing them grow this spring. I don't know. you got to be the one to fit the story, Leo. What about serendipity? Feel just so joyous in life. Oh, arrow. And you need to surround yourself with protective energy at the moment. So put that light of white light around you, okay? Because you're a white witch. You can do that. Higher power said. Higher power said for Leo. Drum. Dream and journey. You're on a higher power. And maybe you can beat on a drum like the Native Americans and... And find your journey to that higher power. That's what it's telling you to do. And what about between world spirit? What about between world spirit? Between world spirit said. Sage, be devoted and committed. Be devoted and committed when you're going between worlds, it said. Is that what it's telling me? And then right here on exchange gifts, we got Shalom, Master. It says, be graceful in your movements and your actions today and every day. When you exchange gifts with this person, to just be graceful in your action and smooth, calmly, you know, and not act sporadically goofy. Is that what it means? Oh, wow, because you got star ancestors. 809, Leo. See there, what helps you? Maybe you got a mom or a dad that's a star seed. And you need to follow the voice of your soul on the inside of you. Star seeds, you know. They probably help build them pyramids. You see that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what people's realizing about the star seeds. And now about, you need to choose your path wisely towards this milk and honey. What's that? Wait, you know, spirit. Spirit said. This, this is to do with you, Leo, the fifth house. You need to do this with the trust of a child and have fun in your, with your person. And, and make romance with them in art. And you do things dramatically, and you got the power of love with you, baby. This is about investments and gambles and other games. So choose your path to not be gambling, okay? Choose your path of romance. That's the way I take it now, okay, Leo? I don't know. What about Druid? What about Druid spirit? Druid said in the eighth house, um, you need to hold a space about this life or death issue. Maybe you're worried about death and life at the moment, but this is about getting and using power wisely, and maybe you use other people's resources to figure this out, or their, or their knowledge. This is about personal power and the mysteries of life. A major change is coming. 
you need to let go because a major change is coming. You got the power to do this. And what about Hermit? Hermit is sad. You got a new life. You need to retreat and recharge with this new life because it's bringing you on a new pathway, Leo. And be open to healing information and you're saying why and you need to listen in the family room it's telling you because this is what you're needing to choose this path towards the family room and all about treasure island and be the light we got the moon here uh so you got a treasure treasure of emotions inside of you and you're needing to let these feelings out because it can cause a reaction around you now and you might have to defend what you believe in and accept just accept your the way it is you know and let your feelings tell you how to do it and let your feelings tell you how to do it it said leo what about spring truth be told in the spring you might have had a message of concern come to you about your seeds coming to life whatever you plant it and surround yourself with protective energy and serendipity because there's thieves all around you, Leo. So surround yourself with that light, that white light every day. Because somebody's wanting to tell you there's a damn thief around and they get ready to spring into action. And what about higher power and drum? Oh, wow. Higher power and drum said the lovers. You're on a journey towards your loving person at the moment you know you're this is a partnership relationship sexual whatever it is but follow me to your own drum and what about be devoted and committed between world spirits telling you oh virgo this is about you know serving others and do this committedly and do what you must do you know this is about healing powers okay analyzing you and you need to analyze you you analyze a lot of things in your life and this is results from you perf you're being to perfect perfectionism that's virgo for you and what about shalom master graceful in movement and action you're going to exchange gifts because you're you're dedicated to achieve this dream of yours and you're focused on it and and you're you're following the rules and this is about your your goals and the day-to-day -day reality of your goals and use the most business-like way and that's capricorn okay leo so leo you might have a capricorn around you a virgo a pisces or cancer and a scorpio and another leo that's what it said okay leo so I'm going to give you a little love message, and that's all I'm doing for you, Leo. What does Leo need to know today? Spirit. The power of love. What's Leo want to know today? Oh, gosh, Leo, you've been stabbed in the back. You've been heartbroken. Somebody heartbroke you, and it felt so much like pain being separated from them, but they was deceiving you, and... You know, that's why you need to get away from them people. <laughs> oh, and then we got a hand of cards. This is about taking a chance. You're going to have to maybe take a risk, you know, and be strategic about these options of yours because you're not showing your hand. Uh-uh, you could be gambling at the moment. But it's going to cause heartbreak. You've already experienced heartbreak and you're separated and you're just wanting to take a chance to be strategic to come back with this person. Here we got heartbroken again. You've been deeply hurt by this person and you're sad and you're still separated from them and you're, you're broke up from them and you feel lost without them and you've been grieving and mourning them and you might have been losing a lot of weight. Poor Leo, I'm sorry. 1444, I love you. Look your numbers up. Oh, what this said. The dragonfly, you need to be lighthearted because you're finding out things is coming to light while you had to adapt to this new change and heal. 
It's coming to light that maybe you two wasn't made for each other, okay? It'll be all right. But did you know that you're going to be in union with someone one day and you're going to be married? And this is a down soul connection. And it's And this is eternal love and this is an everlasting promise. Oh, wow. You had to heal from maybe you had promised to marry somebody and they didn't accept you. But you know what you are, Leo? Looky here, Leo, Twin Flame. Last time I did a Leo reading, it seemed like Twin Flame come out, but... You know, this is about yin and yang, zen and balance. You're in union. This is about duality. You know, your masculine and feminine is balanced in you. And you couple each, you couple each other well. And you complement each other well. And that's great. You're going to marry your twin flame, Leo. Because you're the damn phoenix rising, honey. And you're in a new phase. You're rekindling this uh, new love. And... You're going through, you just feel renewed at the moment. You're going through a transformation of mind, body, and soul, and you're growing, and your mind changed. Your mind changed about your loving twin flame. Can we have one more spirit, one more good one? Oh, you're the runner, ain't you? You're a runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, and listening to the ego. So one of you's a runner and one of you's a chaser. Yep, that's what it is. Twin flames. Did you know that? Well, I love y'all and I hope this helps y'all today. So, because somebody wants to come. You're either offering somebody a pathway and you're going to tell, talk to them in their living room about it. And you're going to use your personal power to stand up and talk to them about it. And you hope they accept your wedding offer because you're all twin flames and and i hope and pray that they do this with you leo i love you and peace and please go ahead and hit subscribe and like because i need to help peace and i'll see you later and it is 17 17 88 i love you